Hey, hey, let's take a look at more good stuff here. Here we're at 105. We're slamming through. You ready? 18 more lessons after today. We are done. So, if you again, if you're really nice and beg mom and dad or whoever homeschools you, they might let you go through and do the entire book again this summer. So, anyway, okay. Just be really nice to them. They'll let you do it. All right. So, let's talk about squaring numbers and negative bases and all this jazz. Let me just tell you right now. When you're doing algebra one half or algebra one or algebra two, um, I know it takes a couple of extra seconds to be careful and write things accurately and carefully, but go ahead and do it. It's a heck of a lot easier to write a negative accurately and do it you know, correctly than to have to go, oh yeah, I forgot to have to do it all over again. So just take 10 extra seconds to write it correctly and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Well, what does it mean to square a number? It means to take that number and multiply it by itself, right? So if somebody were to say to you, um, three squared, that means three times three, which is nine. If it's in parentheses, let's say it's, um, you know, let me try this again. Let's say it's uh, negative five and to square that, well, that literally means you're gonna go, okay, negative five times negative five, and you know a negative times a negative is a positive. So that's gonna be positive 25. So let's look at a couple of other uh, variations on this. We know what this is, we just said that's nine. The opposite of three in parentheses squared means negative three times negative three, that's also nine, all right? How about this? If somebody says to you, ooh, what is that? And then, whoa, what is all that stuff? Okay, don't get, don't get flustered by this. You just, you do exactly what you're being asked to do. Don't get, don't try to do too much. Don't try to do all these steps at once, just do what you're given. Remember the difference between between this and this, right? This means you are going to figure out the opposite of three squared. So you will first find three squared, nine. Then you go, okay, they're asking for the opposite of this, negative nine. Boom. That's the difference between this and this. On this, you're squaring the whole thing because it's in parentheses. On this, you're going, okay, I'm gonna find this first, three squared, nine, apply the opposite, opposite nine, that's my answer. Okay, this, blech, that, Let's just forget that part right there for a second. We'll do that at the very end. But you know what negative three squared means, right? In parentheses, that means negative three times negative three. That's positive nine, right? So if we say that this part here is positive nine, and then we go, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply this right here. What's the opposite of positive nine? Negative nine, that's all there is to it. Look, that's all there is to this. You have to know the difference between the top left, top right, uh, bottom left and bottom right. And all you do is just you just take your time and just carefully do each one. This is the stinker right there. You know, that's the one you go, oh, what's, uh, is that the same as that? No, the answer is no. This will be this, what it is. And you know, you just, you do exactly what is on the page. Don't try to get cute or out guess it. Do what's exactly written there and then apply what else is written there next to it or whatever. And then you know what? You're gonna get a couple of these wrong. Who cares? Don't worry about it. Go back and figure out where you make your mistakes and then fix it for next time. Okay, let's try in a couple of weeks. Evaluate a squared if a is negative five. Well, I, you know, if a is negative five, then instead of writing the a, you're gonna write negative five. Now, the question is, you're squaring a number, right? What does it mean to square a number? That means to multiply the number by itself. They're not asking you to do this. They're saying that this in here is a negative five, which means you're going to square that number. So you're doing actually this. You're saying a squared means negative five times negative five, which is positive 25. Okay, there's a difference. Look at this. What's the opposite of a squared if a is negative five? Well, you know, let's just copy the thing down perfectly, all right? The opposite of a squared, okay? We're gonna square this thing right here. Okay, if a is negative five, let's just put it in parentheses. Because we want what we want to do is to make sure we're squaring that number. Negative five times negative five is, again, positive 25, right? So, so far we have this, 25. Now we're gonna go, okay, right there, goes down there, and the answer is negative 25, or the opposite of 25. You're not saying that negative five times negative five is you know, negative 25, you're not saying that. You're putting this in here and you're finding what the opposite of a squared is, okay? Oh, look at this. Okay, pause.
pause it and copy it. And let's figure this out. This is a real stinker that you can get wrong if you're not very careful. So take a couple of extra seconds, figure out, and be really careful about how you copy this down, and then let's get it right. All right, so a squared, I mean, you know what? You can do this in your head if you want to. You know, this part here, if you go, I know what a squared it means. It means negative two times negative two. Well, you can go ahead and just put four if you want to. That's okay, right? Then this part, I would definitely just copy down at first, okay? So this is gonna be opposite of, just keep it there. Don't get, don't get cute and all tied up whether, oh, does this apply to the A or does this apply to this? Just write the dang thing right there, okay? Now let's mess with this part, all right? I'll put the A there. What is A? Negative two, that's what it is. B squared, if you wanna do that part in your head, then go right ahead. What is B squared if it's negative three? That means negative three times negative three or nine. We have just done this part, okay? Now, write the negative right there again. And again, you can write b squared. That means negative three times negative three, which is nine. Don't get all caught up in whether, wait, does this apply to this or copy, just copy the thing down. Be accurate, solve these little doohickeys in here and there, and uh, just don't call them doohickeys. That's, you know, that, that's not an approved Saxon math term. But let's just do the rest of it. Four minus, okay, now let's do this part right here. What's negative two times positive nine? Negative 18. And I'm copying my negative nine again. Okay, then I'll just go four. And then what is the opposite of negative 18? 18. And then four plus 18 minus nine. Okay, and that'll give us 13. There you go. That's all there is to it. Now I know you might go, oh, it's so complicated. Really all you need to do is just understand in your head. To square a number means to multiply it by itself. If there's some junk in the front of it, fine. Make sure you copy it down and apply it when you need to. But get this stuff done first. That's your order of operations, don't, don't forget, okay? And boom, let's do another one, all right? Uh, well, let's do a couple of them, I guess, all right? Page 327, there's those two. And I pause it and try A. Okay, well, you know, let's do this. Uh, all right, so a squared means negative two times negative two. That gives us four. Okay, times b, what's b equal? Negative three. You just put in parentheses, negative three, you're multiplying. Okay, minus, copy the minus. b is negative three. Copy your negative three, put parentheses so you can see it. Okay, so order of operations means you do this first, right? Four times negative three, negative 12. You can put what is the opposite of negative three, and the answer is three. Negative 12 plus three, don't forget, two, op two opposite numbers. You, you take the uh, absolute values and you subtract them. 12 minus three is nine. What is it, negative nine or positive nine? The answer is negative nine, because this is the number with the higher absolute value. So there you go, okay. Alrighty, good enough. Okay, let's try B, copy that and try it. Okay. Well, let's look here. B squared. B is negative 3. So B squared means negative 3 times negative 3. That's 9. Whoop. Copy your minus sign. Don't get cute. A squared is negative 2 times negative 2. That's going to be 4. Times B. Just put it over there. Negative. There. Okay. That's it. Let's try it. So 9. And I have, don't forget, this is what you're doing uh, next, you're doing the multiplication. Now, again, what, here, let me just tell you, there's two things you can do. You can look at this two ways. You can either say to yourself, what is negative four times negative three? And you'll go, oh, that's 12. So it's nine plus 12 or 21, got it. Or you can go, okay, nine minus, oh no, do I do the minus? Oh, I forgot, just fine. Copy the minus down. Now you do this part right there. What is four, forget the minus, we got it right there, it's taken care of. What is four times negative three? And you know, of course, the answer is negative 12, right? Okay, well, nine, and then what's the opposite of negative 12? Well, that's plus 12, so the answer is still 21. Okay, either one of those is fine. All right, do a great job on your stuff today, and see you guys next time. See y'all.